Chapter One: Pre-Number Concepts. Shape and Size. Look at the pictures and understand. Big, small, tall, short, long, short. Weight and capacity. Look at the pictures and understand. Heavy. Light, more, less, more, less. Position. Look at the pictures and understand. Above, below, on, under, inside, outside. Biggest, tallest, longest. Look at the pictures and understand. Biggest, smallest, tallest, shortest, longest, shortest. Chapter two, numbers one to ten, numbers one to nine. Count the number of balls and read the numbers and number names. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Concept of zero. There are three bottles on the wall. One bottle falls down. How many bottles are there on the wall? There are two bottles on the wall. One more bottle falls down. How many bottles are there on the wall? There is one bottle on the wall. The last bottle also falls down. How many bottles are there on the wall? Now there are no bottles on the wall. We say there is zero bottle on the wall. Zero means nothing or absence of something. Zero is written as zero. The number ten. So far, we have learned read and written numbers up to nine. Now we will learn more. Nine cars. Plus one more car is equal to ten cars. Nine and one more is ten. We write ten as ten. Nine watches plus one more watch is equal to ten watches. Remember, the number ten is the first and the smallest two-digit number. Before. After and between. Look at the number strip shown below. Numbers from one to ten are written on it. We can see that number five is between the numbers four and six. The number four is before the number five, and the number six is after five. Comparing numbers. Look at the number of chocolates in each jar. Four chocolates, eight chocolates. We can compare the numbers using a number strip. When two numbers are compared on the number strip, the number closer to zero is smaller than the other number. Thus, four is smaller than eight. Look at the number of ladoos in each plate. Nine ladoos, five ladoos. When two numbers are compared on the number strip, the number farther from zero is greater than the other number. Thus, nine is greater than five. Look at the number of fishes in each aquarium. Seven fishes. Seven fishes. 
we can clearly see that both the aquariums have equal number of fish. When we compare numbers on the number strip and both the numbers are at the same distance from zero, they are called equal. Thus, seven is equal to seven. Increasing order of numbers. Look at the following pictures. The number given in the box is the number of petals of the flowers. Four, five, six. The numbers have been arranged from the smallest to the biggest. This is the increasing order of numbers. The numbers given below have been arranged in increasing order. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Decreasing order of numbers. Look at the following pictures. The number of marbles in each bowl is given in the box. Five, four, three. The numbers have been arranged from the big chapter 3 addition and subtraction up to 10 addition observe the pictures given below three birds plus two more birds join them is equal to five birds three plus two is five from the above pictures we conclude that addition is putting together Plus is the sign of addition called plus. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Now observe the following. 6 balloons and 3 balloons make 9 balloons. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 is read as 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. Remember, the answer obtained on addition is called sum. Addition by counting forward. Starting from 4, count 2 more. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. 4 plus 1 is 5 and 4 plus 2 is 6. Adding 1. When we add 1 to a number, we get the number just after it. Three flowers plus one flower is equal to four flowers. Three plus one is four. Addition with zero. When zero is added to a number, we get the same number. Four flowers plus zero flowers is equal to four flowers. Four plus zero is equal to four. Addition on the number strip. Add 3 and 2. Starting from 3, go 2 steps forward. Where do you find yourself? Add 5. So, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Horizontal addition. Add 2 and 7. 2 plus 7. Draw 2 sticks for 2 and 7 sticks for 7. Now, count all the sticks. 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. Vertical addition. We can also add numbers by arranging them vertically as shown below. 1 plus 5 is 1 stick plus 5 sticks. That is 6. 2 plus 3 is 2 sticks plus 3 sticks is equal to 5. 4 plus 3 is 4 sticks plus 3 sticks are in total 7 sticks. Addition of 3 numbers. Vertical addition. 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 4 is 9. Addition Stories Word Problems Read the stories and understand how to solve story sums. Richa had six apples. She bought two more. 
Now she has eight apples all together. Six plus two is equal to eight. Subtraction. Subtraction is taking away things from a collection. Five flowers in the vase. Take away two flowers. Three flowers left. We write this as five minus two is equal to three. This is the sign of subtraction called minus. Five minus two is equal to three is read as five minus two is equal to three. Subtracting one. When we subtract one from a number, the answer is the number just before. There were six eggs in a plate. One egg got broken. How many eggs are left? Six minus one is equal to five. Thus, five eggs are left. Subtracting zero. When we subtract zero from a number, the answer is the same number. Ria had five balloons. She did not give any balloon to her brother. How many balloons does Ria have? Five minus zero is equal to five. Ria has five balloons with her. Subtracting the same number. When we subtract a number from itself, the answer is zero. Ankit has three flowers. He gives all the flowers to his sister. How many flowers does Ankit have now? Three minus three is equal to zero. Ankit has zero flowers with him. Subtraction on the number strip. Subtract three from five. Start from five and go three steps backward. Where do you reach? At two. So five minus three is equal to two. Horizontal subtraction. Subtract one from five. Five minus one. Draw five sticks and cross out one. Count the uncrossed sticks to get the answer. Five minus one is equal to four. Vertical subtraction, column subtraction. Two apples taken away from six apples leaves four apples. Six minus two is four. Subtraction stories, word problems. Sia had six oranges. She ate two oranges. How many oranges are left with her? Six minus two is four. Sia has four oranges left with her. Rohit saw nine hens. Four went away. How many hens are left? Nine minus four is five. There are five hens left. Roshan lit seven candles. Four candles were blown off. How many candles are still lit? Seven minus four is three. There are three candles still lit. Chapter four, numbers twenty-one to fifty. Count and read. Eleven, ten, plus one is eleven. One ten plus one one is equal to eleven. Twelve, ten plus two is equal to twelve. One ten plus two ones is equal to twelve. Thirteen, ten plus three is equal to thirteen. One ten plus three ones is equal to thirteen. Fourteen. Ten plus four is equal to fourteen. One ten plus four ones is equal to fourteen. Fifteen. Ten plus five is equal to fifteen. One ten plus five ones is equal to fifteen. Sixteen. Ten plus six is equal to sixteen. One ten 
plus six ones is equal to sixteen. Seventeen. Ten plus seven is equal to seventeen. One ten plus seven ones is equal to seventeen. Eighteen. Ten plus eight is equal to eighteen. One ten plus eight ones is equal to eighteen. Nineteen. Ten plus nine is is equal to nineteen. One ten plus nine ones is equal to nineteen. Twenty. Ten plus ten is equal to twenty. One ten plus one ten is equal to twenty. Representing numbers from eleven to twenty on abacus. The number ten is represented on the abacus shown alongside. Let us see how we can represent other numbers on the abacus. Abacus, tens, ones, number, number name, one one eleven, one two twelve, one three thirteen, one four. Fourteen, one five, fifteen, one six, sixteen, one seven, seventeen, one eight, eighteen, one nine, nineteen, two zero, twenty, before, after, between, you know. That when we represent numbers on a number line, the numbers increase from the left to the right. The following number line represents numbers zero to twenty. Eight comes just before nine. Nine comes between eight and ten. Ten comes just after nine. Comparing numbers. Observe the number strip and compare the numbers eight and twelve. We see that twelve is greater than eight, or eight is smaller than twelve. We also say eight is less than twelve. In symbolic form, we write twelve is greater than eight, or eight is less than twelve. Right arrow means greater than. And left arrow means less than. We use the symbol equal to show that the two numbers are equal or same. For example, eight is equal to eight, and twelve is equal to twelve. We read the above number statements as eight is equal to eight, and twelve is equal to twelve, respectively. Count and read. Numeral. Number name: two tens and one one, twenty one. Two tens and two ones, twenty two. Two tens and three ones, twenty three. Two tens and four ones, twenty four. Two tens and five ones, twenty five. Two tens and six ones, twenty six. Two tens and seven ones, twenty-seven. Two tens and eight ones, twenty-eight. Two tens and nine ones, twenty-nine. Three tens, thirty. Three tens and one one, thirty-one. Three tens and two ones, thirty-two. Three tens and three ones, thirty-three. Three tens and four ones, thirty-four. Three tens and five ones, thirty-five. Three tens and six ones, thirty-six. Three tens and seven ones, thirty-seven. Three tens and eight ones, 
Three tens and nine ones. Thirty-nine. Four tens. Forty. Four tens and one one. Forty-one. Four tens and two ones. Forty-two. Four tens and three ones. Forty-three. Four tens and four ones. Forty-four. Four tens and five ones. Forty-five. Four tens and six ones. Forty-six. Four tens and seven ones. Forty-seven. Four tens and eight ones. Forty-eight. Four tens and nine ones. Forty-nine. Five tens. Fifty. Comparison of numbers. You have already compared numbers up to twenty. Let us now compare numbers up to fifty. Examples A. Fourteen is less than nineteen. Forty-five is greater than thirty-four. Thirty-six is equal to thirty-six. Twenty-eight is less than thirty-two. Smallest to biggest. These balls have been arranged from the smallest to the biggest. These numbers have been arranged from the smallest to the biggest. Thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. Biggest to smallest. These balls have been arranged from the biggest to the smallest. These numbers have been arranged from the biggest to the smallest. Forty-two, forty-one, forty, thirty-nine. Ordering of numbers. Increasing ascending order. Look at these numbers. Eighteen, twenty-one, thirty-five, forty-two. They are not in order but are arranged from the smallest to the biggest. It means... They are arranged in increasing order, decreasing, descending order. Look at these numbers: forty-eight, forty-two, twenty-seven, twenty. They are not in order, but are arranged from the biggest to the smallest. It means they are arranged in decreasing order. Chapter five: Addition and subtraction up to fifty. Addition, addition of a two-digit number and a one-digit number. Ria has fifteen shells. Her friend gives her three more. How many shells does Ria have now? We have to find fifteen plus three. Step one: We arrange the numbers as shown on the right. Step two: Add the ones. Five ones plus three ones is equal to eight ones. Write eight in the ones column. Step three: Add the tens. One ten plus zero ten is equal to one ten. Write one in the tens column. So fifteen plus three is equal to eighteen. Addition of two-digit numbers. Tiru has twenty-four stamps. Charu has twenty-three stamps. How many stamps do they have all together? We have to find twenty-four plus twenty-three. Step one: We arrange the numbers in the columns of tens and ones. Step two: Add the ones. Four plus three is equal to seven. Write seven under the ones column. Step three: Add the tens. Two plus two is equal to four. Write four under the tens column. Story problems, word problems. In a class, there are twenty-six boys and twenty-two girls. How many students are there in the class? Number of boys in the class is twenty-six. Number of girls in the class? Twenty-two. You write them in the tens and ones column accordingly. 
total number of students in the class is equal to 26 plus 22, that is 48. So, there are 48 students in the class. Subtraction Subtraction of a one-digit number from a two-digit number. Ankit had 28 toys. He gave three toys to his friend. How many toys is Ankit left with? We have to find 28 minus 3. Step 1. Arrange the numbers in the column form as shown. Step 2. Subtract the ones. 8 ones minus 3 ones is equal to 5 ones. Write 5 in the ones column. Step 3. Subtract the tens. 2 tens minus 0 tens is equal to 2 tens. Write 2 in the tens column. So, Ankit is left with 25 toys. Subtraction of two digit numbers. Lisa had 26 dolls. She gave 14 dolls to her friend. How many dolls does Lisa have left with her? We have to find 26 minus 14. Step 1. Arrange the numbers in the columns of tens and ones as shown. Step 2. Subtract the ones. 6 ones minus 4 ones is equal to 2 ones. Write 2 in the ones column. Step 3. Subtract the tens. 2 tens minus 1 ten is equal to 1 ten. Write 1 in the tens column. Story Problems Word Problems Out of 38 books in a shelf, Nana took 17 books. How many books are left in the shelf? Total number of books in the shelf, 38. Number of books taken, 17. So, 38 minus 17 books is equal to 21. Number of books left in the shelf are 21 books. So, 21 books are left in the shelf. Chapter 6 Shapes and Patterns Plain Shapes The shapes like triangle, circle, square, rectangle and oval are called plain shapes. Description of Plain Shapes Triangle A triangle has three sides and three corners. Circle A circle does not have any side or corner. Oval an oval also does not have any side or corner, but it is slightly elongated. Rectangle A rectangle has four sides and four corners. Its opposite sides are equal. Square A square has four equal sides and four corners. Solid shapes Cube Cuboid Cylinder Cone Sphere Straight lines and curved lines All shapes are made up of lines. Lines can be straight or curved. These are straight lines. They can be drawn using a ruler. Straight lines can be horizontal, vertical and slanting. Horizontal lines, vertical lines, slanting lines. Horizontal lines are also called sleeping lines. Vertical lines are also called standing lines. These are curved lines. They cannot be drawn using a ruler. Rolling and sliding. An object with a curved surface can roll. An object with a flat surface can slide. The ball rolls down. The box slides down. Pattern A pattern is a series of objects, letters or numbers which are kept in a certain order. Understanding patterns helps the students think logically. They are drew four arrows. Circle the arrows which look the same. The first three arrows form a pattern. Chapter 7 Measurement Measurement of Length Measuring length of an object tells us how long or tall an object is. Long ago,
people used their body parts to measure things. Fingers, handspans, cubits, feet and base were commonly used. Fingers, handspan, cubit, foot, base. Remember, these are called non-standard units of measuring length. Arbitrary units for measuring lengths. We can also measure the length of an object either by comparing it with the length of another object or by directly measuring it. We can use objects like all pins, paper clips, pens, pencils, etc. for measuring lengths. All pins, paper clips, pens, pencils, etc. are called arbitrary units for measuring lengths. Observe the following examples. The toothbrush is about 7 all pins long. Measurement of weight. Read and understand. Papaya is heavier than apple, but it is lighter than watermelon. Clearly, apple is the lightest and watermelon is the heaviest among apple, papaya and watermelon. We use a balance to measure and compare weights of different things. A balance has two pans. The object to be weighed is placed on one pan and a known weight is put on the other pan. When the pans balance, the weight on both pans are the same. Measurement of Capacity Capacity is the amount of liquid that a container can hold. This bucket can hold 20 mugs of water. We say that the capacity of the bucket is more than the capacity of the mug. This drum can hold 80 mugs of water or 4 buckets of water. So the capacity of the drum is more than that of the bucket. This tank can hold 10 drums of 40 buckets of water. So the capacity of the drum is less than the capacity of the tank. Chapter 8 Ordinal Numbers When we count the numbers, say 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on, the numbers are said to be cardinal numbers. When we tell the position, order of objects or persons, say 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and so on, the numbers are said to be ordinal numbers. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. Ordinal numbers are used to tell the position of the students in a queue, runners in a race, position obtained in exams, etc. Chapter 9 Numbers 51 to 100 Numbers from 51 to 60 Trace, write and read aloud. 51 52 
numbers from 61 to 70. Trays, write and read aloud. 61, 62. Numbers from 71 to 80. Trace, write and read aloud. 71 72 Chapter 10. More on addition and subtraction. Addition of two digit numbers. There were 47 birds on a tree. 31 more birds sat on the branches of the tree. How many birds are sitting all together on the tree? To find the answer, we add 47 and 31. Step 1. Arrange the numbers in the columns of tens and ones as shown. Step 2. Add the ones. 7 plus 1 is 8. Step 3. Add the tens. 4 plus 3 is 7. So, there are 78 birds on the tree. We can also add the above numbers using the expanded form as shown. 47 is equal to 4 tens and 7 ones plus 31, which is equal to 3 tens and 1 1. That is equal to 7 tens and 8 ones, which is 78. So, 47 plus 31 is equal to 78. Remember, when we add 0 to a number, the answer is the same number. Examples, 0 plus 5 is equal to 5. 6 plus 0 is 6. Story Problems Word Problems Jack has 25 flowers. His sister Lena has 32 flowers. How many flowers do they have all together? Number of flowers Jack has 25. Number of flowers Lena has 32. Total number of flowers is equal to 57. So Jack and Lena have 57 flowers altogether. Subtracting two digit numbers. There were 68 mangoes on a tree. Emma plucked 42 of them. How many mangoes are left on the tree? To know the answer, we find 68 minus 42. Step 1. Arrange the numbers in the columns of tens and ones as shown. Step 2. Subtract the ones. 8 minus 2, which is 6. Step 3. Subtract the tens. 6 minus 4 is 2. So, 26 mangoes are left on the tree. We can also subtract the numbers using the expanded form, as shown. 68 is equal to 6 tens plus 8 ones. Minus 42 is equal to 4 tens plus 2 ones, which is equal to 2 tens plus 6 ones, that is 26. Remember, when we subtract 0 from a number, we get the same number. Examples, 4 minus 0 is equal to 4. 7 minus 0 is equal to 7. Story Problems Word Problems Garima decorated her house with 54 candles on a Diwali night. 23 out of them went off due to the wind. How many candles were still lit? Number of candles used 54. Number of candles that went off are 23. So, total number of candles still lit are 54 minus 23 is equal to 31. So, 31 candles were still lit. Addition with regrouping. 
when the sum of the one digits is equal to or more than 10, we write the ones digit under ones column and carry over the tens digit to the tens column. This is called addition with regrouping or carryover. Add 48 and 36. Step 1. Arrange the given numbers in the columns as shown here. Step 2. Add the ones. 8 ones plus 6 ones is equal to 14 ones. 14 ones is equal to 1 ten plus 4 ones. Write 4 in the ones column and carry over 1 ten to the tens column. Step 3. Add the tens. 4 tens plus 3 tens plus 1 ten carried over is equal to 8 tens. Write 8 in the tens column. Sum is equal to 84. Subtraction with regrouping, borrowing. Subtract 18 from 42. We have to find 42 minus 18. Step 1. Arrange the numbers in the columns as shown here. Put the bigger number above the smaller number. Step 2. Here, we cannot subtract 8 ones from 2 ones as 2 is less than 8 or 2 is smaller than 8. So, we borrow 1 ten from 4 tens, leaving behind 3 tens. Now we have 1 ten plus 2 ones is equal to 10 ones plus 2 ones, which is 12 ones. Step 3. Subtract the ones. 12 ones minus 8 ones is equal to 4 ones. Write 4 in the ones column. Remember, cross out 4 and write 3. 2 ones become 12 ones. Step 4. Subtract the tens. 3 tens minus 1 ten is equal to 2 tens. Write 2 in the tens column. Difference is equal to 24. Chapter 11. Multiplication. Skip counting. Skip counting means leaving certain numbers while counting. Look at the following number strip. Skip count in twos. Start from zero and skip one number each time. You land on every second number. This is skip counting in twos. List the numbers you land on. Two. Four, six. Skip count in threes. Start from zero and skip two numbers each time. You land on every third number. This is skip counting in threes. List the numbers you land on. Understanding multiplication. Multiplication is repeated addition. Study the following examples. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Here, 2 is repeatedly added 2 times. We can write this as 2 multiplied by 2, which is 4. We read this as 2 twos are 4, or 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Remember, we can also read 2 into 2 is 4, as 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4, or 2 into 2 is equal to 4. Here, 2 is repeatedly added 4 times. We can write this as 4 multiplied by 2 is equal to 8. We read this as 4 twos are 8. Thus, repeated addition of the same number is called multiplication. We use cross sign to show multiplication. Look, read and understand. 2 plus 2 plus 2. 2 added 3 times is 6. 3 multiplied by 2 is also 6. Or 3 times 2 is 6. 3 added 4 times is 12. 
4 times 3 is 12. 4 added 4 times is 16. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 added 4 times is 20. 4 times 5 is 20. Multiplication tables. Table of 2. 2 into 1 is 2. 2 into 2 is 4. 2 into 3 is 6. 2 into 4 is 8. 2 into 5 is 10. 2 into 6 is 12. 2 into 7 is 14. 2 into 8 is 16. 2 into 9 is 18. 2 into 10 is 20. Table of 3. 3 into 1 is 3. 3 into 2 is 6. 3 into 3 is 9. 3 into 4 is 12. 3 into 5 is 15. 3 into 6 is 18. 3 into 7 is 21. 3 into 8 is 24. 3 into 9 is 27. 3 into 10 is 30. Table of 4 4 into 1 is 4. 4 into 2 is 8. 4 into 3 is 12. 4 into 4 is 16. 4 into 5 is 20. 4 into 6 is 24. 4 into 7 is 28. 4 into 8 is 32. 4 into 9 is 36. 4 into 10 is 40. Table of 5 5 into 1 is 5. 5 into 2 is 10. 5 into 3 is 15. 5 into 4 is 20. 5 into 5 is 25. 5 into 6 is 30. 5 into 7 is 35. 5 into 8 is 40. 5 into 9 is 45. 5 into 10 is 50. Chapter 12 Time Day and Night When the sun rises, it is morning. It is time to get up. The time of the day when the sun is over the head is called afternoon. The time of the day when the sun sets is called evening. When there is darkness, it is night. It is the time for rest. We sleep at night. We see the moon and stars at night. Clock Look at the clock. It tells us time. There are twelve numbers from one to twelve marked on it. The clock has two hands. The short hand shows hours. The long hand shows minutes. When the long hand is at twelve and the short hand is on any number, we read the clock by the hours. When the long hand is on twelve, we say twelve o'clock. The time in the clock is 8 o'clock or 8 zero zero. 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Days in a week. There are 7 days in a week. These are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday is the first day of the week. Months of the year. There are 12 months in a year. These are January, that has 31 days. February, having 28 or 29 days. March, 31 days. April, 30 days. May, 31 days. June, 30 days. July, 31 days. August, 31 days. September, 30 days. October, 31 days. 
November thirty days, December thirty one days. The year cycle goes on and on. Remember, one month is equal to four weeks. Read this rhyme. Thirty days have September, April, June, and November. February has twenty-eight alone. All the rest have thirty-one, excepting February. That's the time when February's days are twenty-nine. Remember, one year is equal to twelve months, fifty-two weeks, or three sixty-five or three sixty-six days. Chapter thirteen. Money. Money is used to buy things. We use money in the form of currency notes and metallic coins. We count money in rupees and paise. In short, rupee or rupees is written as this symbol, and paise is written as p. Commonly used Indian coins are fifty paise, one rupee, two rupees. Five rupees, ten rupees. Commonly used Indian notes are rupee one note, rupee two, rupee five, rupee ten, rupee twenty, rupee fifty, rupee one hundred, rupee two hundred, rupee five hundred. Rupee two thousand. Note: fifty paise coins and rupee one and rupee two notes are now not in use. Chapter Fourteen: Data Handling. We can show the number or quantity of objects through symbols or pictures. This is called pictograph. Count and write the number of different birds. Birds number four, two, three, one. Look at the different balloons liked by the children of Class One. Color number of children. Yellow, blue, green, orange.